Hi, good morning. Welcome to my class. The first part of this course is the principles of health, safety, and environment. To start the course, we'll start with an introduction to HSE. What does HSE mean and why is it important? Now, good health and safety practices are everyone's responsibility. When you start going to work, the organizations must make sure that their activities do not cause harm to anyone. Normally, HSE is the department in a company or an organization that is tasked with ensuring that the work undertaken by the company does not cause undue environmental damage and does not put the worker's health and safety at high risk. It should comply with applicable legislation and follows best practices. Now, HSE aims to prevent and reduce accidents, emergencies, and health issues at work, along with any environmental damage that could result from work practices. Now, let's take a look at the definition one by one. What is HSE? H for health, in the standpoint of health, it consists of the development of safe, high quality and environmentally friendly processes and work practices. This is to prevent or reduce the risk of harm to people. And this can be related to toxicology, exposure limit, diseases and so on from a safety standpoint this involves creating organized procedures for identifying workplace hazards now the goal is to reduce accidents and exposure to harmful substances it also includes training of personnel in accident prevention accidents response emergency preparedness and use of uh, protective clothing, PPE, and equipment. In the environment standpoint, this is related to pollution, waste, air quality, green technology, and sustainability. It involves creating a systematic approach to comply with the environmental regulations. For example, managing waste, or air emissions and all the way to helping a site to reduce the company's carbon footprint. This next slide shows a funny cartoon that exhibits some common hazards that can occur in a workplace. Now, what an example that I can see here is that um, there is a hamburger on the desk. Do you see that? And a mouse is eating that burger. So that mouse may carry infectious diseases, which can transmit to the workers. Now, this is a hazard. So what should be done to avoid such hazard? Simple. Food just should not be left open on a work space. Can you identify the other types of hazards in this cartoon? Now your task is to identify at least one hazard and comment on what would be the consequences of that hazard and how should this be handled to avoid the consequences. I would like you to please post your answers and comments in the forum section on iLearn, on UITM iLearn webpage. Historical perspective of OSH development. The rapid developments 
that have been taking place in Malaysian industrialization program have changed employment patterns to an increasing emphasis on manufacturing and service sectors of the economy. So therefore, there are pros and cons of this advancement of industri industrialization in a country. So uh, the good points or positive points of the industrialization is that um, we have products or tasks that were previously handmade using crude tools or animal power such as horse or buffalo and cows. So those have been replaced by machineries and new methods which have made mass production possible. And not just that, workers also became more productive and their work functions became more specialized. And this has caused an overall improvement of the living standards. However, the bad points are industrialization has caused pollution. Pollution has increased and not just that, uh, harmful working conditions has been created due to all the machineries. New risks have been created. New types of diseases has emerged that has never existed before. Now, this answers the question of why HSE is so important that you have to take this course to become a competent future engineer. So, why is HSE important? If we look at the three words, H, H S, and E, um, so the first point is to prevent and eliminate the risk of injuries, health hazards, and damage to the properties. Okay, now, um, everybody desires to work in a healthy atmosphere. You see, nowadays, many workers are just not fit. They're not healthy. And this is because they have busy schedule, they have long working hours, and not to mention work pressure. Now, all these things can lead to some kind of illnesses or depression to the employee and would affect their professional as well as their personal life. So, start taking care of your health, take regular breaks, sit in an appropriate posture, eat healthy diet. Okay, so these are the things that HSE officers would advise you. So HSE should oversee a range of health hazards, uh, which includes ergonomic hazards. For example, are you sitting in the right kind of chair, in the right posture? Um, are you being exposed to carcinogens? Are there any toxic gases in this room? Uh, are you uh, in, a, in a very dangerous condition where you can fall from height? And many other things. So the second point here is to minimize these unsafe acts or unsafe conditions. It is the duty and moral responsibility of the company to look after the employee's protection. Now each and every person who leaves home for work in the morning should come back home in evening in good health. Now you don't want your loved one, for example, going to work and then never returning home due to workplace accident. You don't want that to happen. So not just that, the worker itself also should be aware of the surrounding hazard and it should be alert all the time to reduce risk and take precautionary steps. And it is also important for the worker to always update the supervisor about any unsafe conditions. Now, the third point is to identify steps 
towards the conservation and preservation of the environment. Okay, the world that we have right now really doesn't belong to you. They belong to your great-grandchildren. So think about it. It is important to implement programs to ensure that we have better resource management and that it will lead to a healthier natural environment. Um, you want to mitigate climate change, lower the cost, and improve of the overall public health. HSE programs approach. Early safety programs were based on the three E's of safety. Nowadays, there, uh, if you Google, you can find this actually four E's and five E's. They've come up with different kinds of E's of safety, but we'll stick with the traditional three E's, which are engineering, education, and enforcement. Engineering describes design improvement in process and product. So you design, develop, implement, operate, maintain safety programs for the employees. So secondly, education. Education will cultivate safety awareness or habits because education would increase a person's understanding of a subject. So the strategy would involve promotion of a safe environment and workplace, teach about safety rules, create awareness of the benefit and goals of safety in the community and workplace. And finally, enforcement to ensure compliance to law and regulations. Now, enforcement is a key component of work and environmental safety as it reinforces laws that serve to protect you. So this involves making sure that all employees obey the safety rules and regulations in the workplace. So also to follow, um, the employees should follow necessary procedures that are required during a safety routine, for example. And strict punishment uh, will be given for those who fail to abide by the set of safety rules. In the next slide, we will talk about the history and development of safety and health movement in Malaysia.